Hey YouTube, what's up? Sparmol and Nine Killer here. Um, I'm doing an MW2 video because I'm I don't have Black Ops 2 or MW3 yet. So, well, guess you have to deal with this. Um, so I'll be doing this a little more than my M Modern Combat 3 videos because, well, I'd rather play this game than Modern Combat 3. So uh, I'm doing the M4A1 today. The uh, good weapon, very balanced, extremely balanced, perfect for basically anything. You can kill snipers with it, flank, stay quiet, do whatever you want basically. So this is the first setup that I'm going to be using. Uh, if you watch, if you are a regularly MW2 fan, like back then, and you're really so into it, you might have seen someone named Xbox Ahoy, who makes really good weapons guys. I recommend you check him out. But anyways, this is his setup that he recommended in his video. So I decided to check it out, you know, see if it was actually worth using. And if I can, I can use it. So then, so this is the silencer with heartbeat. So in in his words, you basically get the punch of the M4, the close range punch, because this is really good at close range, combined with the effectiveness of the heartbeat sensor, which allows you to find targets at close range. So it's the best of both worlds. You'll be able to find enemies effectively and take them out also quite effectively. So anyways, um, so yeah, uh, after, I don't see me getting any kill, oh, there you go. So yeah, so, yeah, there you go. Alright, so anyways, um, so this is only my first, uh, loadout, so let me pick a different one. Alright, so this is my, this is my personal favorite loadout. Or set up uh, either an M4 A1 with an ACOG or an M4 A1 with shotgun or even both, because well the M4 A1 it excels in close range, but I mean you're not gonna get that one hit kill that other assault rifles are gonna lend to you like uh, the foul or um, the tar. So it doesn't do as well in close quarters as a tar or a foul would do, and that's important because you're gonna get outgunned by fouls and tars. Or even F2000 at close range, unless you have a backup. And also, if you use certain attachments on the like certain perks on the M4A1, you're gonna lose ammo. So having another gun, even albeit a very short range one, is still useful. So yeah, um, okay. So, uh Certain perks I recommend with this. Oh my god. Certain perks. Um, stopping power pro. Certain stopping power. Stopping power pro. Whatever. Very useful. Want to use it all the time. This is not a very strong gun. You want to use anything that will give you an advantage at any at any range. Anyways. Um, man, that guy is running all over the place. Alright, anyways. So you see, I can get the you get the close range. Alright, so, um, my next class is M4 and Grenade Launcher. Um, this is probably one of the best weapons you can use with the Grenade Launcher. The Grenade, I mean, the new tube works the same every single, um, game. It really doesn't, it's not, nothing different, but I mean, with the M4A1, I mean, if you're starting off, you want to use it. It's a very good starting perk if you don't have anything else, so I recommend getting this. Sleight of hand, useful. Uh, sleight of hand, um, stopping power, bling, all these are very viable attachments to use with the M4A1, all available. M4A1 is very versatile, you want to use it for anything you can. Excellent for close range encounters, basically anything, basically anything that involves shooting a guy in the face, you will use. Oh, ammo, whatever, I don't need it. Anyways, uh, equipment, everything is basically your playing style. Go ahead and pick whatever you want. I don't, you know, it's all preference. Everything's always preference. You don't want to just do what, like, you don't want to do what, like, someone on YouTube tells you to do. Because, I mean, it's all yours. Everyone has their own unique playing style. I'm more of an assault, kind of, I'm sneaky assault. So I'll use silencer a lot. Like, in this class. So I'll use a silencer on my M4. I mean... Not many people would think that's a really stupid decision. I mean, that's, I mean, come on, that's kind of dumb. You're you're sacrificing range, that 
normal assault rifles don't have very, in very, uh, very much, but I mean, if you can, if you can effectively take out someone at close range, especially with another gun, so I will use, I will, if you want to, you're using bling, you would put, put shotgun on this, this will make it much more effective, you'll be able to take out guys at close range, you're, like, it's not very, like, the M4A1, not very effective at long range, so, I mean, if you have to give up range, just go ahead and do it, I mean, it's not that, it's not important enough to risk giving up, like, I mean, it's not important enough to risk giving up anything that you might want to be able to give up, so, okay. My predator drones are getting screwed up. Anyways. Yeah, this isn't my best. This is my first match of the day, so I'm not doing very good. Uh, I'll leave you guys with some uh, gameplay. I, that's really all I have to say. I mean, I mean, I don't really have much else to say. It's all Everything's really simple. Nothing. Oh, son of a bitch. They're going to take the freaking payload. Mega hack and mega hack and mega Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I'll leave you with some gameplay. Alright, so that's the M4A1. Um, so I'll be seeing you guys later. Comment, subscribe, everything. And we'll see ya.